really believe the gospel. It's the measure to which you really believe that you're at peace with God. I love the way Tim Keller says it. Your belief in the gospel is measured by your ability to have joy and suffering. Now, I want to tell you, this is not something that's going to come naturally to you. If you're sitting there feeling like, well, this is like, I just, me too. That's why Paul talks about it as a learning process. And I glance real quick back at verse 3. We rejoice because we know. Rejoice is a choice. It is a choice to remind yourself of what you know. The choice to rejoice, or let's just say the choice to worship, is not a feeling that naturally rises up in you. Many times the choice to rejoice and the choice to worship is in defiance of your feelings. It's amazing to me how many times the Bible commands us to shout, to rejoice, and to worship. 40 different times in the Psalms, listen, 40 different times you are instructed to raise your hands in worship. That just that one motion, just raise your hands. 40, why would he tell us to raise, well, I mean, like, if you feel like you should raise your hands, because God doesn't want you to be inauthentic. Here's why he commands you. Because he knows you're not always going to feel like it. And worship is not supposed to be a reflection of your feelings. Worship is supposed to be a declaration of what you know to be true. So the time that I need to raise my hands is when I don't feel like raising my hands. Right? Some of us come in here and we're like, well, I don't really, I don't, I don't, I think I should do it if it doesn't feel authentic. That's exactly when you need to do it. Because what you're doing is you're saying, I'm declaring what I know to be true, even though in my heart, I don't feel like it's true. I know it's true. And so I'm going to declare it and I'm going to let my feelings conform to what the realities of the gospel are. Worship is not a depiction of your feelings. Worship is a declaration of who God is. Okay. So some of us, when we come in here and it's time to worship, we look in our heart and say, how do I feel? How do I feel? You should be looking in your heart. You should be looking in the word of God. You should be looking upwards. And say, not how I feel, but what is true. And then I'm going to even have my posture reflect that. Because let me tell you a little secret. A lot of times, your heart, often your heart will follow your posture. Right? I mean, think about it. When I am, uh, sometimes I'll get down on my knees when I pray. 